it's been a flipping interesting couple of days or a couple of hours actually um back to back firings absolute crazy shit right first of all tucker carlson get fired from fucking fox news and if that wasn't enough don lemon gets flipping fired from cnn back to back on either side of the political aisle both of these big big um, personality stars you may call them on their platforms getting fired now the fox news um one with tucker carlson again i haven't read too much into the story but i'm just gonna go off a guess here my feeling is this is not by chance and this has something to do with that dominion court case settlement thing that happened this is what I, this is what it feels like to me they had to settle with that Dominion case with the voting machines and the fact that Fox News were peddling the conspiracy that Donald Trump won the election fair and square and or some sort of conspiracy about meddling with the machines that made sure that he didn't win the public vote, bloody blah, 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 or the popular vote, sorry. Something, there's something in that, I feel like, where maybe part of the deal was that Fox News would fire somebody, you know, big and prominent so that they'd have someone to pin the blame on. So that makes me think what Tucker Tuck Carlson, for the most part, you don't really hear anything about him in Fox News in terms of bullying or harassment. It just, it just feels a little bit, you know, the coincidence is just too much for that regard. With Dom Lemon on the other side, you've heard a lot of stories about him over the years, about bullying and whatnot, about inappropriate relationships with staffers at the, at the CNN. So this makes more sense in terms of a HR thing that they, want, they don't want to get involved with. Maybe there's some cases in the background brewing and, you know, someone's going to get exposed and see them want to distance themselves as much as possible from Don Lemon. That'll make more sense to me. But anyway, let's read the article regardless. This is courtesy of BBC. It says Tucker Carlson leaves Fox News. It says Tucker Carlson, the highest rated cable host um, credited with setting the agenda of the US conservatives, has left Fox News, the network has announced. And if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, his last show was last Friday. So they didn't even get a chance for him to say bye. So this feels way more like a firing than him leaving to me. But they probably gave him the professional courtesy of leaving technically on paper. In a statement, Fox News said that Carson had agreed to part ways. His last TV program was Friday the 21st of April. The statement added, his primetime slot will now be hosted by a series of interim hosts until the permanent replacement is found. The brief two-paragraph statement gave no reason for the abrupt um, decision. So when you get two-paragraph statement when you leave after being at a place for how long? whatever i have many years that's a lot um, the 53 year old was not just a popular presenter but also a historically influential one he shows frequently set the agenda for conservatives and by extension the republican party his program offered a blend of populist conservative takes on issues ranging from immigration crime race gender and sexuality with work ideology becoming a frequent target it made up for um the top it made uh, it made up for of the top 10 rate programs of us table television tv according to nielsen data for the week the 27th to the 2nd of april he was a fox news top rated host with more than 3 million viewers tuning in on an average night that's a lot of viewers that he's taken away mate and knowing how conservatives are and the conspiracies that will kind of spin around this most likely whatever platform he goes on next he's going to bring all those you would imagine a huge majority of those fans over there with him um so this is interesting it continues while on the Hosts often publicly agreed with Donald Trump, whose politics have transformed the Republican Party. He would occasionally diverge from the former president's political views. Yeah, exactly. This is why I don't understand this one, because I don't think this is to do with the Trump um, election. Sorry, with the with Trump saying that he he won the election and it was rigged and stuff. I don't think this is true, because if I remember correctly, wasn't Tucker Carlson one of the only people on Fox who didn't buy the whole rigged election thing? I'm pretty sure he was one of the only people that didn't buy the rigged election thing. I'm pretty sure. Did, what happened to my camera? Did it, my camera die? Did my camera die? Yeah, I think my camera died. Bear with me a sec. I think my camera might have died. Oh, Jesus. Did my camera die? Yes, it did. Okay, there we go. We're back. We're back. We're back. 
So, yeah. Um, I don't think this has anything to do with Trump. I just think maybe they went to go in a different direction. Who knows? Um, no Fox competitors were quick to capitalize on, on Carson's uh, departure. One rival network, Newsmax, said it had successfully attracted viewers from Fox News in recent months, and Carson's departure will only fuel that trend. <coughs> The announcement of Carson's departure comes days after Fox News so defamation lawsuit the voter machines company dominion over the coverage of the 2020 presidential um, election. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. This is hard one to judge. Hard one to judge. I would imagine at that kind of level of broadcasting, things like this don't happen by coincidence. The fact that both of these prominent guys got fired back to back is a bit spooky to me. It feels a little bit too coincidental but maybe because it's monday business new business day it makes sense to kind of announce it now who knows but the fact that this came out of the blue feels a bit weird in it but i wonder why I, the tucker one's more more is is more confusing the 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 don lemon one makes more sense especially if you read this article here courtesy of variety no which one's it this one yeah courtesy of variety this article kind of makes sense this was part published on april 5th right it says Dom Lemon's misogyny at CNN exposed malicious texts, mocking female co-workers and diva-like behavior. I could assume, you know, judging by what happened with Jonathan Majors and judging by how we know how Hollywood and entertainment industry and just production companies and TVs work in general, networks and stuff, most likely um, a story is brewing in the background. Most likely. There's a story, story. There's a story brewing in the background with him. Maybe some more serious allegations. And CNN doesn't want any of the smoke. They don't want any of the smut, only the smudge on them. So they decided to just kind of, you know, push him out of the door before the stories come to light. So they didn't have to comment on it. That's what it feels like to me. But with the Tucker Carlson one, that kind of comes like, that feels like it came out of like left field. No one has any sort of inkling. And again, I'm just guessing here, but when I, what I do remember correctly is that he was one of the rare few people who said he didn't buy into donald trump's um 2020 presidential elections rigging scam thing he didn't really buy into that narrative so why would he be the one being punished do you know what I mean? it doesn't make any sense really why would they punish him of all the people if he's the one that didn't really buy into it i don't actually get that to be honest but who knows who knows who knows who knows who knows regardless um they're both out of a job um let's see don lemon's one it says here, Don Lemon says he was fired by CNN without warning. Network Plus inaccurate statement. Yeah, Don Lemon's statement was hilarious. Him crying about it made it even worse, to be fair. Just take your L and keep it moving. The crying part of it is ultra, ultra lame. Look at this. I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. At no point was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do my work that I've loved at the network. I've loved it. It is clear that the <laughs> it is clear that there are some larger issues at play. And look at him. Always the victim, in it? Always the victim. Always the fucking victim. Larger issues at play. Yeah, you wish, mate. You wish you were part of some larger conspiracy, right? You wish. That'd make you to be the most important person in the world, as you clearly think you are. It is clear there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I've worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalists in business, and I wish them all the best. Shut up. But the rumors were from what I've heard online via the Twitter streets. The Twitter streets are saying that Dom Lemon is actually with with a partner he has a long-term partner maybe a husband maybe and that allegedly don lemon was getting freaky with some potentially again alleged potentially very very young staff at cnn some people are saying 19 some people are saying 17 but anywhere between 18 and 21 that person was and don lemon isn't 21 He's like maybe it's for 49, 50-ish. So the age gap is crazy. So they're saying he might be messing with somebody, you know, being in a relationship and that person's really young. And if I'm not mistaken, um, network TV, for, I don't know why this is the case. Maybe it's because of professionalism, but I know that those network TV guys, they have clauses in their contract where you're not allowed to hook up with people 
I'm, why is my camera keep dying? I don't know why it keeps dying. But yeah, they have clauses in their contract where you're not allowed to hook up with people. So if he is hooking up with people, then he's going to be in big, 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 big trouble. So it's no surprise that something there happened. But um, for some reason, my camera keeps dying, even though it's plugged in and charged. This makes no sense. Bear with me a sec again. This is the greatest stream ever. working now cool. for some reason my phone is going crazy man my phone is going crazy my camera's not working it's all going tits up at the moment i'm not really too sure why but we should be back here where we are now hopefully we're back hopefully we're back god almighty mate this is an absolute shocker <laughs> this stream is a shocker for those of you hanging in honestly i appreciate all of you i really 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 do <laughs> Oh, oh my god i don't know why you guys put up with this nonsense mate this is a lot this is too much right now this is legitimately too much but yeah big up those of you who do tune in and put up with it i don't know why this is the case but regardless i do appreciate every single one of you so it should be working is it working yeah the camera's back on now i think you think so oh why does it keep ducking out weird isn't it what's happening right now my camera just keeps losing all the time. Maybe if, if, did I do something wrong here? Hmm. Do you guys see me? Am I moving? No, I'm not. See, it keeps ducking out. So the audio is fine, but the camera just keeps popping in and out like an absolute spurge. Mama mia. Mama mia. Mama me. Mama mia. Yep, this keeps just popping out, doesn't it? Okay, cool. The camera is going a little bit crazy right now. I'm not really too sure why, but something bad is happening to my camera right now. Something very, very truly bad. Oh, that's why. Maybe because the Wi-Fi is down. I think so. That might be the reason why the computer, the Wi-Fi is not really working too tough. Is that why? Yep, that's probably why. Okay, cool, man. Cool. Camera's not working. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, that's fucking amazing, don't you think? That's super. <laughs> okay cool <laughs> oh man okay that's cool the camera is not working as intended so you know what we're just gonna go cameraless fuck it let's go cameraless for the for the last few minutes and then i'll have to switch this back to working when the flipping computer is working properly this is absolutely annoying but let's just go cameraless for the time being let's just do it this way bloody hell let's just do it this way let's just go let's just move all right let's move okay so <laughs> exactly yeah if it's a weird camp vibes yeah let's just go let's just go cameraless for the for the last few anyway let's just uh ram this all out and let's actually go over some of these allegations regarding don lemon quickly because i think these are quite interesting especially concerning the ones with him and some person called nikki haley or whatever her fucking name is I'm like, this is no reason to get fire somebody, but hey, they're going to do what they're going to do, right? Let me just see if I can pop it up on here. Bear with me. So, one of the other reasons why people say um, Don Lemon may have got fired from CNN is this article, right? Courtesy of AP News. CNN's Don Lemon regrets saying Nikki Haley's past her prime from February. So, I'm not sure why he got fired now. Maybe internal, you know, investigations when it comes to HR at, you know, flipping news networks take a long time to flip and get resolved. Who knows? But... You know, I don't think this is a reason to get fired. Do you think so? Look at this, right? It's courtesy of AP News. Don Lemon startled some colleagues on CNN's morning show Thursday with the implication that the Republican president candidate Nikki Haley, age 51, was past her prime. Saying somebody's past their prime shouldn't be a sackable offense, you'd think, should it? Anyway, said so Lemon was with CNN this morning. Co-host Poppy Harlow and Kathleen Collins were discussing Haley's suggestion uh, a day earlier that politicians over the age of 75 should be subject to mandatory mental, comp <laughs> mental competency tests. That's hilarious, man. I love Republicans in this hard line they're going on with the medical um, comp competency test when you consider some of the other people republicans have had him right um it says here president joe biden is 80 while another gop presidential candidate former president donald trump is 76 exactly nikki haley isn't in her prime sorry lemon said explaining why 
he was uncomfortable with the age discussion when a woman is considered to be in her prime it's in her 20s 30s and maybe 40s jesus christ mate that's the most that's the most gayest cattiest thing i've heard dom lemon say right like you can't you can't really say this in a workplace don't get me wrong especially not in front of the camera but this still shouldn't be enough to get you fired it's a really catty gay thing to say something that you'd hear someone say at rupaul's drag race or something right or like whatever it was maybe but really should you be getting fired for saying this this is actually a pretty decent discussion and topic to have to be honest prime for what harlow replied Lemon said that if you look up on Google, a woman is considered to be in her prime at those ages. Harlow tried to clarify what Lemon was referencing. Ah, oh, Harlow. Um, this one I'm trying to get him fired. I think we need to qualify. Are you talking about prime for childbearing or are you talking about prime for being president? And then um, Lemon replied, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying what the facts are. Google it. He brought up the subject again an hour later when commentator Audi Cornish joined the discussion. Like Harlow earlier, Cornish said the idea that Prime that Lemon was referring to was about reproductive ages that didn't concern mental health or aging. You see, that's the issue I have, the changing of the goalpost. Let's just say across the board in politics, let's please not have anybody over the age of flipping, you know, 60 trying to lead the country. Please. Or maybe even 69, as Mr. Bob has kind of in intimated there. And let's not make it an issue of, you know, flipping uh, men v. women. Let's just say overall, we want our political representatives to actually be, you know, somewhat, you know, within a somewhat decent health mentally and physically. And maybe having them being over the age of 60 and maybe a little bit embittered and whatnot isn't the right way to go about things. Let's not turn it into a flipping men v. women flipping debate and argument because that's flipping stupid. We know what we mean. We know what we're talking about. But still, I don't think that's grounds enough to get fired. Let's go to the flipping Variety article featuring Don Lemon. It says Don Lemon misogyny has seen and exposed. Malicious text mocking females, co-workers and diva like behavior. This is from Variety. It says back in 2008, Lemon was anchoring CNN's live from weekday show with Kyra Phillips, a gig that landed after he arrived at the network two years prior from local news in Chicago. For months, tensions between the pair kept mounting. On more than one occasion, a live from producer and newsroom supervisor had to pull Lemon off the air during a commercial break because of the anchor's provocative antics. Not unlike his recent declaration that 51-year-old Nick Haley isn't a viable president candidate because she is in the prime. <laughs> look how they put it. They put it so black and white. They make it look way worse than what he actually said. Um, amid the charged atmosphere, sources say Lemon disrespected colleague um, Nancy Grace on air and, and Solidad O'Brien during an editorial meeting ended by roughly 30 minutes by roughly attended by roughly 30 staffers. So Don Lemon was running that show over there, innit? He was legitimately the little tyrant over there at CNN. But this apathy, sorry, but this anti, uh, is it anti antipathy, antipathy, sorry, towards Phillips was particularly concerning and had many members of the close knit Atlanta news team on edge. While Phillips was on an assignment in Iraq, a high profile gig in, that Lemon coveted, he vented his disappointment at being passed over by tearing up pictures and notes on top of and inside of Phillips's desk in a news pod they shared, according to the two sources who worked there at the time what what kind of weird um what kind of weird what kind of weird intimidation tactic is that tearing up bits of paper and putting it on someone's desk that's so strange that's, is that some like media juju like what the fuck is that what does white piece of paper signalize on top of someone's desk when she returned from Iraq, things only got weirder. One night while dining with members of the news team, she received two of the first two threatening text messages from an unknown number on her flip phone that warned, now you've crossed the line and you're going to pay. <laughs> Don Lemon's a psycho. Phil's was visibly rattled and quickly enlisted CNN's higher-ups identified the sender. Remarkably, the text were tracked... Oh my God. Remarkably... The texts were tracked back to Lemon, according to the same source. A human resource investigation was launched, and while the findings were never disclosed to the growing pool of staffers who were aware of the situation, Lemon was abruptly pulled from his co-anchor duties with Phillips and moved to weekends. 
how did he survive in the job? Do you think this is a price of um? Do you think this is a price of flipping um? Is this like positive priv? Is this like the opposite of like uh getting fired because you're black? Like you get kept on because you're black. Is that part of the reason? Like being a black gay guy, he kind of got kept on despite being quite clearly a bit of a bully. Because how did he survive? How did he get removed from one place to the other place? This is so strange. It was a demotion by any objective measure and understood to be a kind of disciplinary action. It appears to be the last time he was paired with a female anchor until his most recent assignment with CNN's This Morning with Poppy Harlow and Kathleen Collins. Oh my God, this makes it so much worse. So he was pulled off of any, you know, programming that involved women because he clearly had an issue with some or maybe whatever it may be and then years later he again gets in another scandal with another woman that leads to him being fired shit phillips who joined abc as a washington based correspondent in 2018 declined to comment a spokesperson for cnn said don says uh, the alleged incident never occurred and that he was never notified of any investigation cnn cannot corroborate invest in alleged incidents from 15 years ago in the wake of Lemon's Feb 16, Haley comments derided as unacceptable and sexist by everyone from CNN chair Chris Leach to Haley herself, and even referenced by Oscar winner Michelle Yeoh during her uh, acceptance speech. His fate at CNN hung in a balance, with many colleagues privately calling for his ouster. Wow, I would have thought he was really popular, you know. Judging by how he acts and how they act with him when he does this, what was it, the New Year's Eve thing where they drink a lot and shit on air? I just assumed he was kind of a popular figure. I know conservatives don't like him and stuff, which makes sense, but I just assumed he was popular within CNN. Despite the outcry, he landed back on his feet and after riding the bench for two days, posting a Twitter mea culpa in which he insisted that he is committed to doing better and ignoring the matter altogether during his Feb 2020 air on return, still the incident has spotlighted Lemon's troubling treatment of women and unprofessional antics dating back nearly two decades. Honestly, think about it. If a straight dude did this, if a straight dude went on, went on air and said, a woman was past her prime in a presidential sense or just in general in that vague sense yo you'd be shot in the back of the head quicker than you could say ay caramba let's think about it variety spoke with more than a dozen former and current um colleagues who painted a picture of a journalist who flaunted rules and cozied up to the powers of all all the while displaying open hostility to many female co-workers he seemed to have a real issue with this is a this is like the issue this is like the opposite of like sexual harassment this is him like abusing and bullying women only because he feels like he has some sort of like what power dominance over them maybe they're easier to bully than men i don't know each each and every time he appeared to charm his way out of facing any meaningful consequences so maybe maybe his firing was completely justified reading this article from flipping april the 5th flipping now dumb lemon man you got the one of the easiest jobs in the world and you're absolutely flipping pissing up the wall for some nonsense but yeah um and then the last one in this article to read is sean hannity clueless over tucker carson fox he says it's very hard but i don't own the company <laughs> you know what's funny i'm not sure you guys have been fired but i have a couple of times in places right for various various reasons but usually it's funny how quickly you realize who your actual colleague friends are like when stuff like that happens when you get let go at places like who who basically changes their tune on you who washes their hands on you who sometimes doesn't even look up as you're walking out of the fucking building it's quite concerning and look at hannity man hannity was blindsided by fox news announcement that tucker carson is parting ways with the network carson was fox news most watched prime time um duh, 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 duh. um hannity said it's very hard, he said in the radio show. There's <laughs> My phone has been blowing up all day. The hard part for me is that I don't have a clue. I have no idea. Was it Tucker's decision? Was it Fox's? Was it mutual agreement that they had? I don't know. Yeah, just completely, I don't know, I don't know. Which is funny because most likely, they probably had a couple of drinks the day before, right? They probably hung out in the staff room. They maybe went to lunch together. Their wives probably hung out together. Their kids might have played out together. And suddenly, when someone gets fired, 
you don't know their kids you don't know their name you don't know their number it all kind of moves on i guess people think that because i've been here the longest that i'd have some knowledge or understanding of what's going on but i just don't says hannity for those who ask who do, for those who think i should i say to those people i don't own the company <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. He's completely washed his hands of him, mate. He wants nothing to do with it. Let me get on with my job. Actually, I want to take his spot also. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, um, I'm sure Tyler Carson will be fine. You know, he'll probably handle it. He's already been making the pivot anyway to flipping um podcasting and stuff. He's been appearing on people's podcasts. He has his own show that kind of feels like a podcast anyway. Um, I'm sure Ben Shapiro is probably putting in a call to get him on board to do the daily wire or something he was, he's gonna have many offers right he'll be he'll have offers to live stream on rumble and all this malarkey but if anything this should be a message and a clear sign for a lot of these news anchors and whatever it may be out there who think they have a job for life the, the you know the world is changing and if people like tucker carlson can get fired even though he's like legitimately the star over there at Fox, um, and so can someone like Don Lemon, who was maybe part of the protected class, then no one out there is safe. You should all be kind of watching your flipping P's and Q's. I think so anyway, at least, because God almighty, mate, it could all go tits up for you very, 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 very quickly. <laughs>